lists the world's greatest rock guitarists, and Leslie West's name is sure to appear. Any idiot can play the song. If you picked up a guitar within a, 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 a day, I can show you how to play the song. It's the same chord. From the time he and his band Mountain performed at Woodstock in 1969 through the 1970s when their songs were FM staples to today where Mississippi Queen and Nantucket Sleigh Ride are played on every classic rock radio station, West has ascended to the rock and roll pantheon. Along the way, he's played with rock royalty from The Who to Ozzy Osbourne and almost everyone else in between. I got to play with Hendrix a little before he died. He says to me, you want to jam, man? And we went back to the club and uh, Jimmy played bass. But 30 years ago, West, living the life of a bona fide rock star, was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. And his reaction was no surprise. He ignored it. I wasn't listening to anybody. I must felt like George Clooney. I mean, I got the way I was from eating Twinkies and Oreos. I didn't know what they meant, blood sugar. What the hell is that? So I went to the, she says, I think you're diabetic. So what? I have diabetes. What does that mean? There's certain things I had to do. I didn't know what testing, testing. I tested a microphone. That's what, you know. Still, he endured, and his career kept evolving. He has his own line of Leslie West guitars, his own iPhone app, and hip-hop stars such as Jay-Z and Kanye West have sampled some of his earliest work. So all of a sudden, stuff that I wrote in 69 seems relevant. While touring around the world, he married his current wife, Jenny, in a very public ceremony at the 40th anniversary of Woodstock. You saw The Godfather? You remember when he went over to Italy and got hit by the thunderbolt? <laughs> it's the thunderbolt. He's a very charismatic guy, and I swear I'd never date a musician. I come from a long line of uh, people in the music industry, and he changed my mind. Last June, while heading to, of all places, Mississippi, West, still overweight and a cancer survivor, started experiencing excruciating pain in his right leg. When his leg turned blue, he and his wife knew something was amiss. And the next morning, my foot was turning blue. I mean, it was cadaver blue. And I kept feeling it, and I didn't feel the pulse. So we went to Ocean Springs Hospital. He came up and looked at it. He says, I got to take you to the emergency room, man. Now he's out, and they said, here's the deal. We are going to have to cut off his leg, or he, you may, you know, he's probably going to die. At this point, I think he's going to hate my guts. You know, I, I have to make this decision. He's completely incoherent. She said, well, wake him up, because I don't want him to wake up and say, I just meant to say, pass the salt, you evil bitch, you cut my leg off. So he said, we can cut it off below the knee, and chances are he'll never make it out of here without doing more surgeries and jeopardizing his life. Obviously, every time he goes under, or we can go above the knee. They didn't tell me exactly where above the knee, so I'm assuming right above the knee. And so I lost my leg, and uh, oh, luckily it wasn't one of my arms. Then we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. After surviving the surgery, Wes did what anyone who knows him well would expect. He called his friend Howard Stern. He asked me, where's your leg, man? We can make a lot of money with that leg. I think it's in the Mississippi River or something. He was great about it, but it did me good to talk to him. But right now it's like, you know, it's short, but who wants to go through that again? Because I see some people that are below the knee, they just snap on that leg and they can walk fast. Mine's a big procedure. You got to put a sleeve on with a bolt. You know, I used to be able to go out. Can't just jump in the car. I test my blood now on my fingers 12 times a day. And I only can do it on this hand because I'm going to prick my fingers. I'm not going to do it in the fingers I play with. West is grateful for the support he's getting from friends and fans. They came out with this beagle called the MB1. There's ramps that come out of the middle. And I guess they saw on Facebook. I had to cancel my tour because it wasn't a vehicle. The owner of the company, Fred Drasner, used to own the Daily News. Fred just called him up and said, give Leslie one. Even as his 2011 album, Unusual Suspects, went to number four on the Billboard Blues charts, Wes, with the help of his wife, is paying attention to his health and managing his diabetes. Well, well you know what we had He's last like night? He's like a three-year-old. <laughs> what we had last night? Yeah, roast chicken and green bean casserole. No, we had 
Brussels sprouts. Uh, Brussels sprouts. Yeah. Anything you want southern, I can make a healthy version of it. I eat vegetables now. My wife, uh, she wants to keep me around, I guess. And Wes says he has a simple answer to anyone who wants his opinion on dealing with diabetes. Go, go to your doctor and listen to what he says. That's what I'd say. Test and test your blood sugar. That's what I would say. Because if you don't test, how are you going to know?